Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Trizzy, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top two, you know, the best outfits I think that are in GTA 5, especially for the Halloween update. If you are watching this video on the day it was recorded, meaning October 28th, 2020, you can only get this face paint for the Joker during the Halloween season or the Halloween update. So, sadly, if you are watching at a different time, you cannot get the exact same face paint. But there are other face paints that are similar to it. So, if you can't get this one, you know, either wait till next October, get it again, or you can try the different face paints. Like I said, the first one we're going to be doing is the Joker outfit. Right away, you want to change your hairstyle, the one I have right here, the slick back. And we are going to press L2R2 to change it to the green hair color to match the one the Joker has in the movies. The face paint I have on right now is one I normally have on every Halloween. Uh, it's, you don't have to have this one on. We're about to change it anyway, so it don't matter about this one. The one we are going to have on, I'm about to show you right here. Real quick, I also want to throw in that I got a lot of these ideas from other videos. A lot of guys commenting, sending me other pictures. So I kind of, you know, combined everything, made it my own, added a little bit of my own pizzazz, changed a couple of things up. But at the end of the day, I did get a lot of support from the community. So thank you guys so much for that. Right here, you guys are seeing, we want to put on the Sorrow Demon face paint. This is the face paint that makes you look just like the Joker. Once we get that on, you're looking just like him. And we are going to add a little bit of lipstick. So as that more, you know, lip effect, the whole bloody effect, you know what I'm talking about. Once the face paint has been acquired, we're going to go down to this last option right here and we're going to press lipstick and all the way to the bottom, we're going to put smudged on. Make sure you have it on color number one and make sure you do have it on 100%. I actually left it on 50 the first time, so I have to do it again, you know, save yourself 500 bucks. Make it to 100%, press R1 to increase it and then you are good to go and try it on different clothes. Right here, like I said, I'm increasing it to 100% so you can kind of see that lipstick smudge look, you know, better. You know, we want that, do you want to know how I got these scars type of look? So we got to get that smudge lipstick going so it looks like you got blood all over your face. So once you are done with the whole hairstyle, makeup, and lipstick part, all you gotta do is get the clothes now, which is the easier part. So hop on whatever vehicle you want and head over to the nearest clothing store and I will see you guys there. Once inside, we're gonna head over to the pants section, head over to the subcategory suit pants and we want the purple regular pants to give us that Joker look, you know, the Joker pants that he has on in all the movies. Keep in mind if you are watching this in 2020 or when I release the video, you don't have to look for the words of the purple regular. You can just look at the number located at the top right. That way you can find the items much easier as long as GTA hasn't had any updates or anything like that and, you know, added new suit pants. Next up, we're going to go to the shirt section, go to clothing. We're going to go down to vests and we want number 23. It has like an olive green sort of look just like the one the Joker has all in the movies. Once you get to that, we are going to change the shirt right after that. So once you go ahead and buy this, we're going to go down to the shirt section. That's why we're going to change the shirt to like a nice purple, you know, dark bluish type of color. To change the shirt, we're going to go over to the vest shirt category and we're going to be looking for the pale blue shirt. It's a half sleeve shirt. You're about to see it right here. It looks just like that one right there. We're going to equip that and all we need left is boots and accessories and we are good. Right away, you guys can see this is a really cool costume and if you see this guy walking towards you in GTA 5, I might just run away from him because I do not want the Joker chasing me. Right here, we're going to go over to the boot section, and we want some fancy boots the Joker usually wears, like some sort of dress shoes, so we are going to find the boots that match that outfit. So head over to the category called Smart Shoes, and we want the two-tone, you know, gray Oxford type of color shoes. Grab these, like I said, they have like that sort of, you know, smart, fancy shoe, dress shoe type of thing. We want that. And after that, we are going to walk over to the accessory aisle. After this accessory, we're going to grab ourselves a tie, take off the hat and glasses, and you will be completed the Joker outfit. So now that we're over to the tie section, sadly, GT5 does not have the exact same, you know, color, that dark green, olive green. I couldn't find that color tie. I looked at other guys' videos, other guys' photos on GTA, couldn't find anything. So, you know, you can either pick this purple tie right here, or you can pick this green tie. Personally, I like the purple tie. I think the green tie is a little bit too bright, you know, a bit too flashy. I like the purple tie. You can also go for a bow tie if you'd like. But once you have this purple tie on, you are pretty much done the outfit. Take off any accessories, you know, hats or glasses you have on. And right here, you're about to see you look exactly like the Joker. Once you've created the outfit, make sure you go back to some sort of clothing store, your apartment, whatever, and save the outfit so you have it for forever. As you can see, this is a sick outfit. I really like it. I'm going to be wearing it around GTA 5. I think my friends would like it too when I play with them. Without further ado, let's move on to the next costume, and that is kind of the slasher slash killer look. Now, for this slasher look, first thing we want to do is change our pants. We're going to go into the pants section, go down to work pants, and we want the tan pants that you can see are right there when you enter the screen. Equip those bad boys, and now we're going to move on to the sweater slash jacket area to buy ourselves a big old coat. So once you're into the clothing section, go down to the overcoat subcategory and we want the beige overcoat. I believe it's number 55 on the list. So, you know, simply press up on the D-pad, no need to go downwards and we're going to equip this beige overcoat. And next up, like always, we're going to need to change our shoes. Just a quick heads up, because the outfit I was originally wearing, I already have this shirt on, but you want to go down to the business shirts, business clothing section, and you want to put on the white shirt. It's not that expensive. Grab yourself one of those, and then we're going to go change our shoes. Also, keep in mind, it doesn't matter that we have the whole Joker face thing going on, because we are going to put a mask on to complete the whole slasher look, so it's okay if you keep the face paint. There's no problem. You know, you can have the face paint, have both costumes saved, you know, change costumes in front of your friends, have a cool little look going on. 
We are going to go to the boots category when it comes to shoes. And we want shoe number 35. It's like this worn out black shoe. You know, it has the kind of aspect of the killer. It has like a rigid look to it. It's the type of guy, you know, sketchy dude that you see, you know, alleyways. It's scary, scary, scary. You know, it kind of completes the outfit. So, get these shoes. And then next up, we are going to run over to the accessory aisle. And then we are almost finished here. For accessories, it is once again personal preference. Like I said earlier, when it comes to the tie, we are going to be looking for the, you know, loosely worn out tie. The one that's kind of around his neck. Not completely, you know, straight and sharp looking. It's all like loose falling over. But, like I said, it depends on the color you want. It's your choice. I personally choose black. You're going to see this video. But there also is a khaki look. You can pick any color you want. Whatever you feel more comfortable with, whatever one you like better. So, once you get to this section right here, pick any tie you want. I picked the khaki one at first, but then I see the black one, and I kind of fall for the black one. So, at the end of the day, like I said, it's personal preference. Whatever you guys want, it's up to you. Like I said earlier, once you pick the tie of your preference, whatever you want, khaki, black, or you have a different color, it's up for you. We want to get these fingerless gloves. So back out, stay in this accessory aisle. You don't have to go anywhere else. Go to accessories, gloves, and we want the black fingerless gloves. So go to the glove section, press up on the D-pad, go all the way up, and they should be right about here. I already have them bought. They're not that expensive. Grab yourself these gloves, and you are good to go. Last but not least, you know, the finishing touch to this outfit slash costume is going to be the slash mask. So head over to the master, obviously, and we are going to go into the master and go down to the category of monsters. Once you are at the monsters category, we are going to go down to mask number 43. There are different colors for this mask. You know, if you guys go up or down, one at 43, so 44, 42, whatever you want. You can change the outfit around completely, change the color of the overcoat. That will change the whole outfit. But like I said, I like this tan look. It has a sort of killer, you know, slasher vibe to it. So once we get to 43, equip this mask. And right after that, you are good. The outfit slash costume has been completed. So right here, you guys can see I'm standing here showing you off the costume. I personally think this costume right here, the slasher costume, the Joker costume, are the best costumes in GTA 5 online you see one of these guys running around in your lobby and you know they're serious man i think these are awesome sick outfits like the other joker costume make sure you save this one you can either save it at the mask store or you can save it at your own apartment save it and you are completed with these two costumes that being said guys thank you guys so much for the support this is the end of the video if you're new to the channel please make sure you do like and subscribe it does mean the world to me we are on track to our youtube channel goal of 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 so make sure you tell your grandma and your dad to subscribe you know we're trying to touch this 2,000 subscribers you guys already know who it is man it's your boy Trizzy. Thank you guys so much for the love. Hope you have a great day and I'm out.